Also today, a heated discussion at a, the Oklahoma County Jail Trust meeting. It was the first since the state barred the facility from housing juveniles. The decision follows a recent inspection and a report by the state health department highlighting a long list of problems there. News 4's Jessica Bruno was at today's meeting and she joins us now live with more. Jess. Yeah, guys, you'll remember. That inspection report was really lengthy. It was two pages long. And a lot of the deficiencies that the health department found are things that were cited in an earlier report by the health department earlier this year. And it seems like not much has changed. We have the juveniles who have cited that they have not seen or heard staff members on their pod in an entire day. That's just one of the 35 deficiencies listed in this OSDH inspection report sent to the Oklahoma County Jail last week, barring them from housing juveniles. The others include inmates not being fed three times a day, a lack of medical and mental health screenings, and emergency reporting phone systems that don't work. It's sickening to see it all on paper, um, and you know, my thoughts are, we've got to get to work. Which is why Jail Trust trustee Francis Ekarekwu requested to hear from jail administrator Greg Williams about these ongoing issues at Monday's meeting. In terms of the health department report, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of talk about side checks and that people in general population, medical population, juvenile population, there's not enough side checks from the staff members um, looking to see that people are still living. Just basic, basic observation. Um, I guess what do you say to that and what have you done since this report to remedy that? We are recruiting staff as fast as we can. Uh, we train staff and we've done lots of extra training on site checks. I've been able to recruit about seven people into that job class. Now, juveniles charged with murder one are still being housed at the jail right now, and there are currently 12 of them. But a new state law that goes into effect on November 1st could change that. There has to be a level of observation and ability for juvenile detainees to reach out to staff members to be heard and seen by staff members and um, for them to see and hear staff members in a jail. Something Williams says is not possible with their current building. So the trust legal counsel now working to get legal opinions about that. With that said, in conjunction with the recent health department um, recommendations, I fully believe that we do not need to be housing anyone under the age of 18 at our jail. Now, legal counsel for the trust and jail administrator Greg Williams are working on getting several legal opinions about that new law. They actually met regarding that this afternoon, so we'll keep you posted on what happens with that. For now, we're live at the Oklahoma County Courthouse. Jessica Bruno, Oklahoma's News 4.